many a time you go in a machine you put your date of birth then it comes out there something good is going to happen to you in the next one baby you can call me a superman cho 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 cha cha gani ta ko mama hey guys welcome back to our channel it's a girl fanny lungu back with another reaction video if you enjoy this channel make sure to give this video thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe like i said my name is fanny lungu and on this channel we post reaction videos each and every day and you guys have been helping us out with things to react to which were very very grateful and if you've got something else that you want us to react to let us know in the comment section below and we'll actually do it for you guys we also have a second youtube channel called funny njc 2.0 we've got some amazing vlogs you guys can head there and check them out and let us know if there's anything that you want to see we'll do it for you guys and for those of you guys that are always asking where my boyfriend is we finally managed to do some videos together so you guys can head there and just check them out. We have a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse and we have some amazing conversations. You guys can head there and check them out. Let us know what you think about whatever we're talking about and we'll be more than glad to accommodate your opinion. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify and this channel. Of course, on this channel we post the audio and audio on the other platforms as well but for our second youtube channel no, we post the visual of our podcast so whichever suits you best uh is what you go for but yeah we have a patreon called funny and jesse you guys can head there become members and we'll be very very grateful a big shout out to people that have subscribed to our channel 14.6k subscribers is a lot that's 14,600 something that you don't imagine yourself having but then it's happened for us and it's happened because of you guys were very very grateful and humbled by your subscriptions thank you and may you stay blessed another thank you goes to the people that have been suggesting that are still subscribing that are watching sharing liking and we're very very grateful for you guys and to you guys and thank you for commenting and teaching us things and as you can tell from the title i'll be reacting to the rea reality of horoscopes palmistry astrology astrology or fortune telling this is something that i asked in one of my previous videos and a big shout out to the person that suggested this you're always coming through to answer my questions with by providing a video thank you very much and so yeah so without wasting time let's get into the video why in Islam marriages no horoscope is seen? Sister asks the question that why in Islam during marriages no horoscope is seen? Because sister, we don't believe in horoscope. Why there is no date of birth based on the date of birth you are not seeing any horoscope? Yes, sister, I'll come to it. I will tell you what Hinduism says because I studied Hinduism. In Hinduism they believe in horoscope. Kundali, Kundali. No Kundali. It's called Kundli. Yes, you know, sister. When Kundli, you tell your date of birth, then they say that this sun was there and this shagun and this, this grahan came. This is a science. But this science is not established science. It's a hypothesis. It says that if you are born on this date, then this grahan comes and this planet goes there and this. It is a science, but it's not an established science. It's not hard science, like what we read in our college, biology, physiology, embryology, it is what they believe, it's an assumption. And then they talk about future, everything what they mention in the Kundli does not come out to be true. We in Islam are against fortune telling. Quran says in Surah Maida chapter number 5 verse number 90, Ya ladina amanu, inna mal khamru wal maisuru, Oh you believe, most certainly intoxicant and gambling, wal anzabu wal aslamu, dedication of stones, divination of arrows, rich summin amili shaitan, these are Satan's handiwork. First, abstain from this handiwork that you may prosper. Quran says, this fortune telling, divination of arrows, they are Satan's handiwork, abstain from it that you may prosper. So in Islam, we do not believe in this. Many a time, you go in a machine, you put your date of birth, then it comes out there. Something good is going to happen to you in the next one week. Even if 100 bad things happen, one good thing will surely happen. The next person goes, it comes horoscope, something bad is going to happen in the next one month. So these are statements that are made which are so ambiguous. 
and all this, you know, parrot goes and picks up, a parrot goes and picks up a chit, and you come to know your kundali about your future. So in Islam, we don't believe a parrot can pick up and tell you what is your future, or by reading the palm, or looking at the stars. Islam is against this. And many a time, you get fooled into believing that it is true. And there was a research done, that once a psychologist, he was teaching a class, class of 100 students. And after one week, he said, now I have understood your background, everything. I will write about each individual person, about his past and everything. But don't open the chit until I tell you. So he wrote to all 100 students details about the past. Then he said, okay, now open the chits and give me gradation. How much am I accurate? Believe me. More than 95% of the students said the professor was more than 90% correct. The secret was the professor wrote the same thing for everyone. These are such ambiguous statements. What we have to realize, sister, Islam is against fortune telling, against knowing about the future. That's the reason there is no kundli required. If the kundli was there, yet we find that so many marriages are being broken in Hinduism. Why? What we believe that we have to choose our life partner. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sahih Hadith, that whenever you choose your life partner, you look for four things. Beauty, wealth, nobility, and virtue. The best is virtue. The best to choose from a life partner is a virtuous life partner, not Kundali. Whether born in October, September doesn't make a difference. The virtue should match. That is the reason a woman in Islam, sister, is called as a Mohsena. Mohsena in Arabic means a fortress against the devil. In other religions, including Hinduism, the woman is referred as an instrument of a devil. In Quran, the woman is referred as a Mohsena. In Arabic, it means a fortress against the devil. So if you marry a virtuous woman, inshallah, she will prevent the husband from going in the wrong track. Hope that answers the question, sister. I wish, I wish this video was longer than what we've been given. I mean, it's like there's so much to say on this topic. I personally don't believe in such things, but then it's always there. Um, you come across it in different things. I think some newspapers even have these things like you choose your, um, <clears throat> your what your sign whether this, yeah, that, whatever the case is, and it tells you what characters you have or what's going to happen, which I don't know how I feel about that because how does one, because some people make a fortune out of this, it's their job. So they um, invite people and they provide their services and then someone is telling you, but then where are they generating this part to be able to read that? this says this this means that that means this and this it just blows my mind it really blows my mind it's is it safe to compare them to magicians because then even magicians it's like that playing tricks with you and then if someone tells you something bad is going to happen to you i feel like that registers on your mind you're going to be thinking oh my goodness something bad is going to happen something bad is going to happen or something good is going to happen something good is going to happen and you think about it it becomes part of you daily you're thinking about that good or bad thing that's going to happen to you so in the end in the end i'm thinking because you're thinking something bad or good is going to happen to you something good or bad does end up happening because you've been thinking it it's like you're manifesting that something bad should happen to you why not manifest good things all the time why should someone tell you but there'll be something bad going to happen to you believe that good will always happen to you no matter what the situation is today something good is going to happen tomorrow something good is not is going to, i mean is going to happen whatever the case is it's up to you and how you train your mind to look at situations but otherwise a big shout out to the person that suggested this thank you for giving me this this is interesting if there's any videos concerning this Feel free to link them in the comment section below and I'll be more than glad to check them out or even react to again. This was interesting. You can learn so much from this. Not so much, but one or two things from this. And yeah, let me know what you think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And of course, do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.
Pas du tout. 